Living culture was the theme for this year's Culture Summit Abu Dhabi, gathering leaders in art, heritage, museums and technology, as well as global policymakers, to examine the ways in which culture can transform societies and communities. What is it that we must do to use culture to heal our nations, our societies, and bring us together again as a global family? Some of the notable themes of the summit included the idea of looking back to make sense of the present, empowering new voices, social responsibility and diversity. We want to be able to make sure that the underprivileged have an equal say in culture, that they are also considered. Uh, we want to make sure that culture is also stable, especially during crises, be it war or pandemics or so forth, that it's safeguarded. A diverse range of topics included Afghanistan through a culture lens, East Africa design future, disability and difference as a creative generator, and even the creative philosophy of the world's first humanoid artist. She is acultural, but she's so symptomatic of so many aspects of different cultures. I mean, she's not, not just Western pioneering technology. I mean, Middle Eastern Technologies as pioneering and as important, and there are other parts of the world where the impact and the knock-on effect of what AI and that kind of technology will have is profound. So it is a kind of, it's a brilliant microcosm of something that really should and needs to be owned by all of us. Attendees enjoyed a host of performances, while in-depth film discussions ranged from film tourism and the effect of creative production to the making of a blockbuster film franchise, June. I think the Abu Dhabi Film Commission plays an important role in the cultural expression of Abu Dhabi culture, particularly when we attract a project, whether it's a feature film, a TV series, even a music video that is set in Abu Dhabi. Um, because um, not only is it a way of, of, again, disseminating a piece of the UAE which may not be known, might be the modern architecture, might be the the cuisine, it might be uh, the ethics and values, it might be the lifestyle. Now that the pressures of COVID have eased, conversations from some of the most gifted international creatives across the three-day summit have been essential in shining a light on fortifying culture for the future and the collective social promise that the future holds.